Hi guys, I'm Y, and today I'm here to introduce you a very cute series. It's Pup Academy. If you are interested in animals or if you have one of those pets, I totally recommend this to you. It is one of my favorite films in Netflix. The reason I found it very funny and interesting is like dogs go to school and they speak like humans and they think like humans. So it's a really interesting film. It's about a grandpa named Charlie. His year made a secret school where a pup becomes dogs and how to be good friends to humans and stuff like that you know how uh think that pup should learn to be a dog so anyway morgan just moved into his neighborhood so grandpa told him secret about grandpa is running a secret school for puppies and morgan is part-time working and he's more in his uh, pup academy. Dogs can travel through the real world and the pup academy through portals disguised as fire, fire hydrants. And Morgan could just step on the toilet and he would be in the puppy academy. That wrap the basics of the most things. First, Wiz is a sheepdog who is scared of everything. Yes, literally every living thing. But it's very smart. He's the brain of the dog amigos, uh, Girls on Wiz and Sparkia. Yeah. James make Wiz like hurt the sheep, but of course Wiz is very afraid of the sheep. So it's like the opposite. The sheep are. It looks like the sheep are hurting the Wiz. <laughs> and next is Corazon. Corazon is a very cute dog and honestly he looks like my friend's dog. He really loves eating, especially kibbles. Um, that's the thing that the dogs eat. And he's really kind-hearted most of the times. His humans are Izzy and Izzy play a big part in the pup academy, hoping on Morgan. And finally, oh yeah, I forgot that. Um, he says he is the wild card, but I don't think so. And finally is Spark. Spark is a stray who lives in an abandoned alley in a broken cabinet. He's a stray that has been the chosen one to keep the constellation going with the chosen human who is Morgan to keep the constellation going so the bond between dogs and humans won't fade. Honestly, I've enjoyed the season 2 a bit better than season 1 because in season 1, like most stories, except for the last one, has like, they have some kind of problem, they have to solve it, and in the end, the problem is solved, everybody's happy, and it's just finished like that. But in season 2, there are a bit more longer stories, which take up 2 episodes, so I can't like stop myself from wondering like, uh what's the next one what's gonna happen so i can't resist myself finding clicking the button on the next one even though i'm not supposed to the the most episode i liked is the stray's last day because it was a huge battle um not huge but it was still a huge battle in pep academy between the dogs and the wolves the wolves attack pep academy so Morgan and Izzy had to save the Pup Academy. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this, but in the beginning of the episode, there was a dream about like the constellation was fading, so everybody started hating dogs, and there was a law that you're not allowed to walk dogs, and it's really crazy. And I also like that one. Okay, so this is it for me, guys. Bye. See you next time. Woo!